be quick. <laughs> Judy Greer, good morning. Good morning. So obviously you're the feisty one in the group. Um, any difference between that character and what you're like sitting here right before me right now? Um, before we started shooting the show, I would have said yeah, but I think I've taken on my character uh, pretty well yeah. on and off set, unfortunately, for you, my friends. You just hear someone and they're like, oh, God, she's in character again. Or is it just the same old Judy? What is their take on this? Um, I think they're like same old Judy, but like a little feistier. Yeah. Yeah. How do you, how do you like this. I know you're good friends with Sarah too, so yeah. it, it kind of made for uh, a great little combination there. Yeah, I know. It, it's so fun because she and I started out as close friends, and then I've gotten so close with Jason Biggs and Tyler Levine, and we have the best time ever working on this show. Yeah. I mean, I, we think we're hilarious all the time, but it's a really good, it's a good mix. It is always good to, to find yourself funny when you're on a comedy. Um, <laughs> This is something that, um, it's about two couples. One, it's a love at first sight couple. The other couple, as we saw, you really can't stand one another. Yeah. Um, has it been, I, I guess, it's been challenging? Has it been fun? I mean, how would you describe this whole process? Well, it has been hard sometimes to not be so mean. Like, I have to say really mean things, but I can't really, I have to also sort of like the guy too, Tyler. Yeah. So that part has been fun and a challenge to like learn how to um, sort of, you know, be smooth about it, yeah. about my attraction to him on set. I mean, looks you know. irresistible. Yeah. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about um, high school because it sounded like it was a blast for you. You describe yourself as a loser, an ugly duckling, not popular, <laughs> yeah. and you couldn't get a date. But it looks like now you're probably able to kind of look back and say, so how do you like me now? I mean, it... I know, but I think you never lose that like <laughs> desire to want to impress your high school. Classmates. Was it, that, was it that, that bad when I saw this? It really kind of stood out to me when I was doing a little. little yeah, well, I mean, I wasn't getting screamed at in the hallways all the time. Some guys called me Chia Pet for a while because yeah. I wore some green tights by accident. But, um, but you know, it was like a little lonely. <laughs> I was a little lonelier than most. And this is great. You trained for nearly 10 years in classical Russian ballet. Yeah. What, what made you stop? I was not good at it. Yeah. It took you 10 years to figure that out? No, but it took me 10 <laughs> years to stop doing it and trying to get better. <laughs> yeah, I was not good, but that's yeah. how I ended up being comfortable on stage, so yeah. I owe it a lot, but I was never going to be awesome. Is, is there the potential they may work that into the character at all? Oh, gosh, I hope. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I mean, maybe I could get some free ballet classes or like yeah. a trainer for a little while if they did, which would be awesome, but yeah. I doubt it. And you knit too. I do. I love knitting so much. Well, how does that come about? Well, um, I started doing it a long time ago to make friends when I first moved to Los Angeles. I yeah. took classes and I met a whole bunch of nice knitters. And then it turned out to be that there's like a lot of like... Uh, powerful women knitters in Hollywood. So <laughs> really? I was making some good connections. <laughs> it was a too. Real, real power broker type get together. Yeah, huh? One I, wouldn't think that. You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I want friends. I want dates. I'm going to learn how to knit. Totally. Well, Judy, best of luck to you. Great Thank to see you. you here this morning. It was really nice to talk with you. And the uh, show, Mad Love, you can see it tonight, 8 30, 7 30 Central, right here on CBS. Judy Greer, thanks.